Dear students, now we are going to discuss the important questions and the overview of the subject transmission lines and RF systems. So it is a kind of derivative and problematic paper. So let's start with the first unit. It is all about the transmission line theory. So here we can expect the questions as a derivative one. Derive the transmission line equations for voltage and current at any point on a transmission line. So this question is very, very, very important. We can expect this question in university examination. So derive the general transmission line equations for voltage and current. So next question, derive the input impedance and transfer impedance of the distortion less line. So and also to explain the concept of a reflection on a line which is not terminated by its Z0. That is characteristics impedance. So here we can have the concept standing wave ratio. Okay. The next one is derive the impedance for open circuiter line and short circuiter line and its relation. So, so the next one is waveform distortion and the loading and types of loading. These two are a kind of theory questions. Okay, so we may expect these questions as a 7 mark or 8 mark questions. So the next, the problems in this first unit. So definitely there may be one problem in university examination. So we can expect this question because it is repeatedly coming in many questions. Okay, so here they have given us the primary constants L, C, G, R that is inductance, capacitance, conductance and resistance. And we have to calculate the characteristics impedance, attenuation constant, phase shift constant, wavelength, phase velocity, sending and current and the received power. Okay, so this question is very, very important one. So it is repeatedly asked one. Okay. Next, the important two more questions in this first unit. So here, the list of primary constants and secondary constants of the transmission line and its relation. Condition for distortion less line. Define the characteristics impedance and define the transfer impedance and input impedance. So this is what the general definition. Next, define the reflection factor and reflection loss and then the standing wave ratio. So these all are the important two mark questions. Apart from that, we can expect two mark problems, okay? So to find the characteristics impedance of the line, they have given us either Z, S, C and Z, O, C, R, Z and Y, okay? Then calculate the reflection factor, okay? That is K. And then we have to find out the standing wave ratio. So these two are very important. So these formulas are very important to solve problems. Okay. And then write the Hamble's equation in loading concept. And also to find out the attenuation constant and phase shift constant from propagation constant. Okay. Next, the second unit is all about high frequency transmission line concept. It is very simple unit. We can directly expect these questions in university examinations. So the first one is to derive the line constants of a zero dissipation line or dissipation less line. Here, this is the relation between primary and secondary constants. From this, we can derive the line constants value. Okay. So next, derive the voltage and current expressions for dissipation less line. So this is also important. And then derive the expression for input impedance of open circuiter line and short circuiter line. Okay, so these all are the important derivative questions. Okay, so next to measure the VSWR with a proper setup. So it is a theory questions. Next, derive an expression for power and impedance measurement on transmission line. So we are going to find out the expression for this power and impedance measurement. So next, short notes on standing waves and SWR ratio. So these two are a kind of two mark question, sometimes eight mark question. So in the second unit as well, we can expect the problems. Here also they have given us the line constants value that is L, C, G and R for zero dissipation line. Okay. 
So from this we can find out the characteristics impedance alpha that is attenuation constant, phase shift constant, wavelength and velocity. So these questions we can definitely expect from this second unit. We can also expect the question to find out the reflection coefficient standing wave ratio. So here we can use these two formulas to find out the reflection coefficient and the VSWR that is standing wave ratio it can also be denoted as yes. Okay. Then we can expect the two more questions like what is mean by node and what is mean by anti nodes. Okay. And also the relation between ZOC and ZSC and the smooth line what is mean by smooth line that is the line terminated with characteristics impedance is known as smooth line okay so and also the condition for dissipation less line this are the important two marks okay next the third unit is all about impedance matching in high frequency lines so here we can cover this three important topics quarter wave transformer step matching there are two types single step matching, double step matching and smith chart. So here we can expect the questions from quarter wave transformer design or the problems to solve using step matching or smith chart. Okay. So these three topics are important in this impedance matching unit. So in quarter wave they may ask the question like this. Prove that the input impedance of a quarter wave line is is that n is equal to r naught squared by is that r next explain the operation of quarter wave transformer and its applications design a quarter wave transformer to match a load of 250 ohm to the source impedance 500 ohm at operating frequency 200 megahertz so this kind of questions may be coming from this quarter wave transformer so the next one is very very important in this third unit we can straight away expect the questions from step matching. So it can be solved either by using formula or smitcher. So here determine the length and location of a single short circuited step and the comparison of single step and double step is also important and then the short notes on 8 waveline in impedance matching. Okay. Next fourth unit. So here in this unit we can have three parts one is parallel planes rectangular waveguide circular waveguide. So waveguide means it is a hollow metallic tube okay. So here it is also called as guiding structure. So we can have three parts definitely we can expect this one okay. So that means parallel planes derive the TE waves that means transverse electric waves between the parallel plates or the transverse magnetic waves between the parallel plates. So definitely we can expect the question from this parallel planes or this rectangular one. And also we can expect the problem in this unit okay to find out the cutoff frequency, the cutoff wavelength, guided wavelength, attenuation, phase shift constant, phase velocity for the given guided structure it can be either rectangular waveguide circular waveguide okay the last unit is rf system design so in this one we can have the theory questions like explain the operation of rf field effect transistor and then one more question like compare the pn pn junction diode and Schottky diode so the next one is explain in detail for the given Topics like mixers, low noise amplifiers, voltage controlled oscillator. So this is also very important. Okay. So next describe the construction and operation of high electron mobility transistor. Simply we can say hemmed. So we can expect this one as well as this one. Okay. In the first half. Okay. So in the second part of this unit, these two topics are very, very important. That is RF power amplifier and its power relation. So this derivation is very very important in this fifth unit. So we can expect the questions from this hemp or the mixer low noise amplifier VCO and then we can expect the question from this RF power amplifier and the last one is explain the concept of stability in RF system. 
so here we can have input stability output stability with a conditional value and unconditional value okay so this all are the important questions in the fifth unit